Hey guys, I'm Tori, and I forgot to film an intro for this video, the Mandarake haul, which is why it's so late. And I was just going to refilm the whole video, but instead, here is the intro. Let me show you what I got from Mandarake. Hey, this video specifically is a haul from Mandarake, which is a mostly secondhand. I think they've got some new stuff there, but they've got a lot of books, toys, figures, just everything. Mandarake's got it all. And if you ever go to Japan, I highly recommend checking it out. The ones that I have seen, I don't know if every Mandarake is like this. It's like a series of rooms and everything is behind glass cases, except I'm not quite sure that the books are. But anyways, you look around, you browse, it's kind of like a museum, but you can go up to the front and be like, hey, I would, I would like that thing from that one case. And you can buy it. I've bought from Mandarake a couple times before. And today I'm going to show you what I got from there most recently. If you came from my other video, you know that a huge chunk of this is going to be art books. The other half of my art book collection in this box. And I'm excited to get into it. And really quick, while I'm on a roll, um, I did get two things from Amiyami this month. I think the Amiyami <laughs> hauls are gonna come back. But the two things that I got from Amiyami this month, I'm going to throw into this haul really quick because they are Attack on Titan and they are this tiny little baby Aaron plush and this tiny little Levi. And they are just so cute. I mean, I couldn't not. These little guys might go to sit on the shelf behind me. We'll find out, I just, I love them so much. They're just so cute, they're just so cute. So to get into the Mandarake haul, I'm not quite sure where to start, but we're just gonna start. Two cool things that I didn't know existed until I went into Mandarake were these Moleskin Attack on Titan collab notebooks. They have grid paper in them. There's one in black and there's one in red, and I haven't actually opened them yet, but it's got some sort of image on the front and then it says dedicate your heart below it, and I'm pretty sure that image is the one from this exhibition that they did. It looks very similar. I'll throw up a picture so that you can see it, but at some point I will unwrap these and put them to good use. I just think they're so cute and small. And Attack on Titan, woo! Next up, these are the only two things in this box that aren't Attack on Titan related, but when I was looking around, one of my friends loves Mido Suji from Yamushi Petal, so I grabbed two cute little buttons. This one is an acrylic button of Mido Suji to add to her collection. And what's awesome about Mandarake, this was 150 yen and this was 100 yen. So like a dollar, a dollar fifty, a little less than that, but great prices, great, great prices. I forgot to mention these were both a thousand yen. They were a thousand yen each, which is like $10.950. So next up, I saw this TikTok the other day of somebody lining up all of their Japanese Attack on Titan manga. And I was like, oh, the, the Japanese, the spine design on the Japanese manga is so much cuter than the spine design on the English ones. The English one is like this, this yellowy orange color and I don't like the font. And so, I decided, you know what, I'm gonna start getting the manga in Japanese. Someday I hope to be able to read it. It'd be cool to have that kind of thing. Well, when I went on Mandarake, I discovered that they make a bilingual one. So I got the first three editions. Those were all that they had on there. Um, so I'm hoping that I'll be able to find the rest of them. These are the first three books in Attack on Titan. And what's super cool about these, this one was 500 yen, this one was 500 yen. There isn't a price on this one, but it was probably similar. What's cool about these is that it's in English, right? But if you, you can see it right here and down here, they have the Japanese off to the side, which I think is really, really cool and probably super useful if you're learning. Also, if you're learning English, if you're Japanese and you're learning English, that's probably what these are used for. But I just think they're really cool. And I will, like, I've mentioned it a couple times, but I am actively trying to learn Japanese. I'm trying. I always thought it would be really cool to know another language, and I just, I have a desire to learn Japanese, so I'm trying. So that's kind of one of the reasons that, like, <laughs> buying manga in Japanese, I'm, like, cool with it, because I'm like, someday, this is motivation, someday you will be able to understand. Now, as we all know, Levi is my favorite character. This was 150 yen. This one... It says 350. I got one of these for 80 yen and I'm not sure which one it was, but 
less than a dollar. This is the No Regrets, which is the Levi side story, backstory. You can watch the OVA, which are like two bonus episodes where this was animated. And it's basically the story of how Levi, AKA my favorite character, most people's favorite character, how he came to be in the Scouting Legion, how he came to be in the Survey Corps. Cool, 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 cool. So I have these in English and I went ahead and bought them in Japanese because why not? And then, and then, I was continuing on and I found these like special edition ones and I thought it was just a different cover, right? I thought it was just a different cover until I got them and then I realized, oh no, this is like a slip case and it has like a little bonus book in the back of each one, which is super, super cool. Super, super cool. I will take anything Levi, like genuinely anything Levi. So I thought that these would be really cool to add to the collection. Um, this one says 600 yen on it. This one says 350 yen on it. I'm not 100% sure if that's what I paid for it, but either way, less than a thousand yen for both of them, less than $10. All right, up next, if you've come from my previous haul video, you saw the first two art books from season one. And in this video, we have the last three. We have three, which has Armin on the cover, four, which has Leave four, <laughs> four, which has Levi on the cover. If you can see him, he's holding his blade down. And then five, which has Aaron and Levi on the cover. And these go in chronological order. They've all got the Obies on them, which is cool. Keyframes, 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 keyframes. So essentially what I'm saying, if this is the fifth book, this has like the last couple of episodes. Super, super cool. I love these. I love these. I wanted to collect all the keyframes books. And now I have, now I just need to get the ones for the final season when they come out. And the last thing that I got from Mandarake was this book. There are a couple more art books that exist for Attack on Titan, but most of them revolve around the anime art, um, which I think is really cool, but I was more interested in the keyframes. However, this one, however, this one has my two favorite characters on the cover. And I was like, you know what? I'm ordering from Mandarake already. Let's just do it. And when I got this one, I was pleasantly surprised. Also, another reason that I'm really interested and the keyframes, and also I thought this book was useful, is I'm looking for the perfect image to get my Levi tattoo. Um, you saw in the previous video the Shikishi board that I bought that I really am leading towards, but I want to have all of the options, all of the Levi options. Art books is another way that I'm like looking through all of the art and finding it, and if, it's, and if I have it, if it's like high quality, you know what I'm saying, I can scan it. But yeah, so this one, this one actually came with the original clear file, which is super, super cool. They do a lot of like clear folder, clear files in Japan. I'm not 100% sure what the craze is there, but I find it interesting. Do people like put them up on their wall? I feel like I would. But yeah, so this one has a bunch of the anime art, but it also, it's divided up into sections. So this one's sections, we've got magazine illustrations, collaborations, product images, event images, with studio Twitter illustrations and then some data at the end that I don't understand because it's in Japanese. The data at the end like tells you where it's from, probably who made it, I can't read. <laughs> and it does have some images that you know and love in it, but it also has some really cool like product images. Let's see if I can find one of the funny ones. Like for example, here they are with razors. <laughs> Which you wouldn't find this anywhere else. So I was like, you know what? Add to order, why not? Poor Kano. We're here, we're making the order. Might as well. And then to top off this haul, did I get this from Otaku Republic or Goods Republic? Otaku Republic, because look, here's a special gift that they sent me that clearly says Otaku Republic on the bottom of it. This is like a little multi-cloth. It's like used to clean your phone and stuff. Super cute, they sent me an Aaron one. Goes with the theme because here is the first ODM keyframe animation book. I showed this in the previous video, but what's really cool about these is they take you step by step, frame by frame through the animation of certain scenes. You can see that's um, a scene from the beginning of season three, a good Levi scene. But yeah, it's just, it's really cool to look through. Super, super fun, super interesting. And I was just looking everywhere and then I found it on there. Probably paid more for this than I should have, but shipping is really expensive right now and the shipping was free. So I'm sure that the shipping was included in the price. So that's probably why. But yeah, and then last but not least, last but certainly not least, I don't have it in my hands right now currently, but I will insert images. 
I got my hands on this figure that TikTok has been lusting over. Um, and it is the Sentinel, Sentinel, Centennial? It is the Brave Act Levi version 2B and it is a 1 8 scale figure. So it's actually the smallest figure that I have, but I found it at an absolute steal. Absolute steal. I could have included this in the previous video, I realized, because I got it from Rakuten, but I didn't get it in the big shipment, which is why it didn't actually end up in that one. Hello, Chloe. You wanna say hi to the people? You wanna say hi to the, oh God, you're so heavy. <laughs> You want to say hi to the people, Chloe? She's like, no, no, I don't want to say hi to the people. But I managed to find this figure for a whopping $54. $54 for this figure that has just gone up in price tremendously. Like I'm currently seeing it at 250 to 300 plus on eBay, which broke my little heart because I originally passed up on this figure because I didn't like the face. Well, I regretted that decision because I love his outfit. He's wearing the outfit that he's wearing at the beginning of season three and abs, Levi abs. So I was heavily regretting not getting it. And one night when I was looking on a whim, I found it and I was like, oh my God, I have to, I have to. And I took a chance on it because I was like, this seems a little too good to be true. I did it anyways. And it turned out to be the figure in perfect condition, perfect. And I got it for $54 plus some shopping service fees plus shipping. But it was a less than $100 figure, essentially, which is crazy to me. Chloe's coming back. Hello, Chloe. So this concludes my, my Japan haul without ever actually going to Japan yet haul. And this video is just going to justify everything. I'm... <laughs> if you can't tell, I have an online shopping problem, but I have learned my lesson. Okay, I've learned my lesson. And I would just, I would like to go out and say that specifically the last video you watched, all of that was bought over months and months and months and months and months and months and months. And months. Okay, the Yuri and I select book has been sitting in the warehouse since like right after COVID. In fact, that has been sitting in the warehouse since everything shut down because it got frozen at 27 days, which means that I bought it three days before everything got shut down. So these videos are in no way, shape or form meant to brag. I bought everything with my own money um, over quite a long period of time. And it was just time that I finally shipped it all to myself. I love watching haul videos, so I decided to make one. Yeah, there's just, there's my disclaimer. But yeah, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't seen Attack on Titan, go watch it. That's all I gotta say. I will be back at you soon with another TikTok Made Me Try It. And hopefully my Sideshow Baby Yoda will be shipping out here soon. We'll, we will have to see. Thank you guys so much for watching. You can like, comment, subscribe if you want to. I am horribly inconsistent, but deeply appreciate the support. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.